I'm going to take a few minutes here just to play some videos just to show how unscriptural the Roman Catholic Church is and how they get into some really nutty stuff. Um, they're just the ancient Baal worshippers of Scripture, and I will prove it from this video right here from their own sources. Let me show you. On our life's journey, as we seek purpose and connection, we are called. Called to place our faith and trust in something greater than our own understanding. We are called by someone who already loves us and offers himself to us. Jesus Christ. Um, Jesus Christ is the wafer. If you don't understand Roman Catholic theology there, that's why they put it in the monstrance and they carry it along and things. It's the actual flesh of their God. They worship a cookie. <laughs> yeah. Um, what, where they get that from is John chapter 6, by the way, where it's actually talking, Jesus is talking about my flesh and my blood. He's talking about the word of God, the written scriptures. Uh, and Peter even confirms that. I'll show you here in just a couple minutes. But uh, if you're Catholic, you just ignore that part and you go into cannibalism, which is forbidden in Scripture uh, multiple times. You're not supposed to eat flesh and blood. Okay, or blood. I'll say it that way. Eat blood. Flesh that's not cooked properly. Let's continue. His body, given daily. His blood, poured out for us. Okay, uh, his body has to be given daily. Oh, why? When he died on the cross, he said it is finished. But see what they're doing here to show the ba ancient Baal worship? And again, he took bread and he break it, and he gives it to his disciples. He didn't break it and quickly form it into a little round wafer. Where's the round wafer from? If you're a Roman Catholic, let me ask you that. Why do you have a round wafer? Where's the scripture for that? At the Last Supper, where Jesus supposedly instituted the Eucharistic uh, system, um, where does it say it was round? But uh, see what they're doing? They're slowly elevating it. It's Baal worship. Worshiping the sun, the rising of the sun. You say, oh, come on. This is ridiculous. Oh, it's the rising of the sun. Yeah. Pay attention to the next scene. Ready? We never journey alone in life. Oh. Uh, uh, why did they show the sun? Shine coming through. Uh, why show that right after you're elevating the host? Right there. Let's continue. We never journey alone in life. Through the Eucharist, we encounter his real presence. Through the cookie, we encounter his real presence. He's actually there in the cookie. Yeah. And others who share our faith. Together we become one with him. In yeah, why can't you just kind of explain the theology of the whole thing? What, what's the movie music behind it? Da, 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 da. It's called Mind Control. Yeah, okay. So this, this woman here, she's, she's getting God in her hands. Wow. So, you know, she drops him on the floor and steps on him by mistake. She just killed God, apparently. You know. In his very flesh. And when we bring his presence out into the world, we can be light for others. This is the gospel call. This is the gospel call. Uh, now that's actually the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Uh, the Eucharist has nothing to do with it. If you actually would read the Bible, you'd see that. To make disciples of all nations laying down our lives for others. The time is now to unite our hearts with His for the life of the world. Revival? The Catholics calling for a revival? No, that's a Christian thing to do, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it's a Christian thing to do. Uh, no, it's actually not. Um, yeah, so that's enough of that one. But this one here, is, this is classic here. Possible Eucharistic Miracle at St. Thomas Church in Thomaston. 
Okay? So, let's watch this one. I already saw this. This is funny. Here we go. For 30, the Archdiocese of Hartford is looking into the possibility of an extremely rare miracle at a Connecticut church. A lot of people talking about this. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Cerullo is live in Thomaston outside of St. Thomas Church. Mike, what can you tell us about this? Yeah, this is six days ago, by the way. Okay. Uh, yeah, possible Eucharistic miracle because we're in the Eucharistic revival thing, you know. Uh, yeah, okay. But check this out. That's so funny. Listen, you'll hear, uh, I think the Lord sent some some rednecks on ATVs and they're trying the guy out. It's so funny, and they quickly get the cameras off of him, you know. You know. Listen. Well, this is potentially something pretty incredible. Both parishioners and others here in Thomaston are taking notice, and they're talking about this. Pastor Joseph Crowley says a Eucharistic miracle may have happened right here at this church earlier this month. As, as one of the church's Eucharistic ministers was passing out host or bread during the communion, Father Crowley says there was all of a sudden more in the ciborium, which is what they used to hold the bread. He says it's a sign that God duplicated himself. <laughs> it's a sign that God duplicated himself. I am the Lord beside me. There is no, no, no other, you know, I don't know. <laughs> you know, God duplicated himself. So he looks at the priest turns around and, the, and in the ciborium, I don't remember reading about that in the Bible. I don't know. I must have missed that word. But in the ciborium, there's the, the little round cookie gods, you know, and all of a sudden he looks back and there's more. Whoa, God duplicated himself. <laughs> yeah, miserable, stinking, wicked people. God duplicated himself. Well, listen to that again. That's just classic. Here we go. In the ciborium, which is what they use to hold the bread, he says it's a sign that God duplicated himself, so much so that it seemed like there was more host in the ciborium after the minister finished passing out that host than before. Throughout history, there have been only about 100 recorded miracles like this, and news is spreading fast. Shana Pia lives in Stratford. She heard about this and traveled here today with her four kids. Uh, so we watched the video last night and we thought, what better way to spend a Friday during Lent than to make a little mini pilgrimage here and light some candles for some people we know who really need prayers and miracles. Really need prayers and miracles. Uh, we know that God heareth not sinners, okay? And somebody I saw in the comments and they said, what's the difference? You know, we're sinners, they're sinners lost. Okay, wicked sinners that have not repented come to Lord to be saved. Okay, I get it that. All, you know, we have sinned. We still sin. We're not sinlessly perfect after we get saved. Please understand, I'm saying wicked sinners, lost people like this, coming and lighting little candles and little prayers and things, you know, because God just duplicated himself. <laughs> so, uh, nonsense. But let's finish up here. Well, the Archdiocese of Hartford is looking into this, and they say that's expected to take about a week. We'll have any updates as we learn more in that time about a week from now. We'll let you know both on air and on the WFSB app. Live in Thomaston, Mike Cerullo, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. Yeah, I mean, that's important. You know, we need to know if it's a confirmed miracle or not, because we need to know that, you know, God duplicated himself as a bunch of cookies in a little, in a Catholic church someplace. That's very important. Yeah. Okay. So what you can do here, if you want to know the truth about the Eucharist um, and the fact that it's unscriptural, just go to my channel, do a search for 13 reasons. Every Christian must reject the Mass. I always forget which one is the first part here. Yeah, right there's the first part. And um, hold on here. Okay, what I do in this study, uh, I don't often do this, but I actually show from Catholic sources right there, okay, um, from Catholic sources, and then I actually do the scripture, look at the scriptures in the Dewey Reams Bible. It's four volumes set. I have it right down there. I'm not going to get it. It's right there. And I show from their own scriptures, their own most sacred Bible that they've ever printed, that even their own scriptures condemn the mass and do not teach what they're trying to teach. So 
you can watch it. It's a big two-part lengthy study, uh, 17,000 views and things. A lot of people have seen that. Um, it'd be a lot more if YouTube didn't suppress the channel, but yeah. So, uh, but just I had to share that thing. This whole because see that we're in this Eucharistic revival thing. That's what the Asbury thing was all about. There's going to be other attempts made at you know revivals. Um, don't fall for it. Okay, if if you are trying to understand what Christianity is, if you're a Roman Catholic, please understand, I don't hate Roman Catholics at all, whatever, but you have to understand, your system is satanic, it's wicked, there's children being molested all the time, um, it's, it's Satan's system, all right, but uh, this whole thing is all about deceiving people into thinking that there's some kind of miraculous thing going on there. Um, if there are miracles happening in the Catholic Church, it's devils that are doing it. Right? Um, so be very careful. The Word of God needs to be your um, the thing that you judge everything by. Right? Uh, that's what the Lord left us here with. And you can watch my uh, King Jesus version studies, and you'll see the proof of that. So um, just wanted to put that video together. Uh, really quickly, I just, you know, thought it was pretty funny. So, hey, you know, to whoever the uh, people were, I guess I got rid of the page there, but to whoever the guys were that were riding the ATVs or something, you know, I could tell the sound of an ATV in my sleep. I've had quite a few over the years love ATVs. But anyhow, whoever was doing that, good job. The serving that ridiculous nonsense, you know, God duplicating himself. Oh, brother.